One thing we can do with an absolute value function is we can write the function in piecewise notation. Now in piecewise notation we're going to break up the function so that we can decide where the function is positive and its normal function and where we had to flip it where it was the negative form of its normal function. So if we look at the original function on this graph it's this yellow line right here. So this line represents the normal function of y equals x plus 2. So for piecewise function we're going to have y equals and we're going to split it into two parts. Now our regular function x plus 2 if we look at this function all of the values over here on this side are going to be represented by that function. That is where our original function is positive. Now on the x-axis we look here we're at negative 2 that's where this function starts to become present. So our function y equals x plus 2, regular x plus 2, that occurs if x is greater than or equal to negative 2. At negative 2, that's where our regular function hasn't been changed because of the absolute value function. Now we need to look at where did the function become negative. So in this part down here, that function's become negative. We needed to reflect it in order to make it an absolute value. And by reflecting it, we multiplied it by negative 1. So everything in the original function gets changed to its negative version, or the opposite sign. And we know this is true if x is less than or equal to negative 2. With a quadratic, again, we could graph the regular equation. So for this equation, you could use a graphing calculator or a table of values, and you would get the following graph. So we've got a point at negative 4, 3, we've got a point at 3, 0, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 0, and 3, negative 0. So here is our original parabola. Now because it's a absolute value, we're going to flip the points into the positive. So this is going to go up here, and this negative 3 is going to become positive 3, this negative 8 is going to become positive 8, and there's our absolute value function. In order to do piecewise notation, what we need to look at is what part of our graph was already in the positive. So our regular graph, x squared minus 4x minus 3, if we look here, this part was positive. The original graph just had that part positive. So our positive value is between the values of negative 3 and negative 1. So if I write that as an inequality, I've got negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to negative 1. Now the other part of my piecewise function is the part that got changed, the part was that was in the negative in my original function. So when we flipped it, we changed all the signs, so it became positive x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now this occurred in two places. It occurred at all of the values less than negative 3, so x is less than negative 3. It also occurred at all of the values greater than negative 1, so x is greater than negative 1. So at all places in between negative 1 and negative 3, our function stayed the same. It didn't change as a result of the absolute value. At everything less than negative 3 and greater than negative 1, our equation was, or our function was below 0 or it was negative. So we had to flip it. So that's indicated here by changing all of our signs to negative. We multiplied this through by negative 1. 